Welcome back to another stain removing session. My name is Ivan. Today we are going to treat red wine stains. And just to confirm that there are three different kinds of stains. You have a mineral based, which is rust. You have a vegetable based, and which is red wine grass, which we are doing today. And then we have a protein based, which will be blood. So just to confirm of that. Next very important thing is to make sure that you always read the wash care instruction in a garment. So today we have three options here. We have a color stain with red wine. We have polycotton, which is polyester and cotton mix, and then 100% cotton in whites. The stain remover we are using today will be Go4, and this is the red wine, grass, mud, coffee, used on colors and on whites. So standard procedure, you can use it neat if it's like a really what I would call a fresh stain. And this one has gone through the wash already, uh, which I'll call a set stain because this was a warm wash, we'll probably need to pre-soak it before we put it through the wash cycle. So if you're ready, we're gonna come a bit closer with the camera and you guys can see what I'm up to. So if you had a nice party last night and your serviette was used as a mop-up for that spilt loss of red wine. Uh, this should basically be the next day and what it looks like. So we're going to first wet the stain, then start agitating it. So this is what we call the neat method, which means we are putting it directly on the stain. And on the other side, I'm going to put the cotton. Again, not too much water, maybe I've overshot the water. I'm going to put some of this juice on it again. That is the go for. So I'm basically working this stain until you start seeing the stain reacts. And while we have that in that side, I'm going to do the second one and I'm going to do that on a pre-soak so while that is standing next to me right this is important to show that and I'm hoping it can be picked up on the camera but if you look at that block there and that block there you can de definitely see the difference this one is brown that is white so this one has gone through the wash so this one we're going to definitely pre-soak properly so I'm going to pour more water in here than before and this one will have to pre-soak now this it is no hard and fast rule here because if this stain has been washed in it might take half an hour it might take eight hours not sure so every stain every fabric has got its own um, time so this is unfortunately no hard and soft rule on this one so this one will be <clears throat> i'm just going to put a bit more the dilution is on the bottle but it says also it can soak up to 24 hours and it's about 100 ml in 20 liters of water. This is 200 ml, so, so let's say half of that into 20 liters. So if you have a big problem, you can soak that away and uh, put that aside. Right. So I've now agitated this enough. The next would be to put it into a wash cycle um, which unfortunately we can't have that video running so long so I'm going to do after this you can basically see some of the pink coming out already um, if you come closer I'll show you how it's starting to move so there is a clean part of the serviette I'm going to just start squeezing this and then you can start seeing the pink already starting to migrate and that's exactly what we want. So this is going to go into a wash now and then we will have another video coming back and we will show you the results. each other we had the red wine stains we treated them we soaked them and I put them through a normal wash at 40 degrees 
the results are in. And I love the results because it, it shows that we can solve a lot of problems, we can reduce problems, but there is always a stubborn stain that cannot be removed and, and the results speaks for themselves. So I'm going to, the first one was the, the serviette which came out 100%. Um, there's, no, there's no even a vague sign of, of the red wine. The second one was the face cloth. So I guess you don't always get wine on a face cloth. Well, the pens. Um, and then there, there is a slight stain left. What I'm going to try and do with this is keep on washing it through the system and see what happens with time. So this one is going to be in our timeline um, on feedback of what we're going to get. We have a photo of this in the shoot as well. And then the last was the shirt. And we'll do a close-up of it. Uh, to me, it's wearable. I mean, from where you're standing, to me, it's wearable. The stain would be there, which would be the difference between those two blocks. We'll also take a close-up with a camera on that. So... All in all, I would say out of the three items, two 100% wearable again and usable. The face cloth, I would say, needs a bit more attention. Uh, so I'm very happy with a 75% saving on the garments that we've done. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe uh, and I'll be seeing you guys soon.